Hey guys, Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics. Hey, today I'm going to try to save you some money and some time. we got some candied speed shapes over Super Chrome. They come out really nice and brilliant. And if you want to do a test on a pattern or a film, you've ruined the speed shape. So what I was thinking of is putting some plastic dip. I just This is the third coat right here. Um, spray that over the top of it. Let it dry overnight. It got a little heavy. You can see in the V in the back uh, where it's puddling. I wasn't sure how to use this stuff, so I put it on pretty heavy to make sure I could pull it off. They say three coats, 30 minutes in between. Anyway, uh, it got a little cloudy, so, but you still see the gold through it. So I figured I'd get a pretty good uh, idea of what my film would look like with that underneath it. Anyway, um, the sides you can see don't have that white on them. Those are, of course, thinner. And I think this stuff would work fine as far as getting a look. It doesn't come out shiny when it's done. Um... See, it's dull, kind of a dull finish. But anyway, a clear on the top of that would, would spruce it back up. Anyway, I want to dip some carbon fiber. So this particular carbon fiber I've been dipping for over a year now. And I was always thinking that that clear, or it's black carbon fiber, but I was always thinking the transparent part was transparent. So to my astonishment right here, I find out that you can't see the gold paint through it at all. A very, very small tinge of, of gold is all you can see through that and just a little bit on the sides. But anyway, we're checking to see if this plastic dip will work. Right? That's the main thing. Anyway, um, yeah, all the times I put graphite and aluminum and all these different colors underneath it to get the best look and find out that there's <laughs> you're going to get whatever the film gave you on that particular brand. Okay, so it dipped real nice. Everything, see, everything's really nice, um, stuck to it real well. This is dried up, and we're going to start peeling it off here. Start at the nose there. It's probably the thinnest. I didn't put hardly any there, but uh, it was a little hard to get underneath it. Once you get it going, and it starts peeling back on you, and this was my first time, so I had to get kind of a feel for it. What I, what I found out is just rolling it off with your thumbs, and it'll just roll over itself. Um, it's real heavy in the middle there, so you could actually grab that and pull it real easy. And then you just roll the outside around it. There's a clump of it down here in the garbage can I want to show you. It stuck together pretty well for the whole thing. came off in pretty much one piece. Um, anyway, I've got my speed shape back. You see that? So uh, anyway, this, this will help you guys. I hope it does. Uh, I'm always trying to find out new ways of saving time and money, and this is one of them. This is Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics. We're out.